Hey, what's going on guys? Tonight's video we are going to be showing you how to install a shower filter and this precise one is the, I believe you call that Spirit or Sprite showers and this is a shower filter with the integrated filter on the inside. This exact model is going to be the Slimline 2 Dial-A-Date or SL2. Again, by Spirit or Sprite Showers. The filter on here is about a six month filter you need to replace about every six months or so. This precise model is just the connection with the filter on the inside. And what's cool about this is it's actually, again, like it said, it says dial a date. If your shower filter needs to be replaced every six months, you just put that to, you know, if it's June, you would put it to December, six months from now. When that month comes up, you remember to go ahead and unscrew this and put a new filter in. Let me go ahead and unscrew this and show you what the filter looks like. Okay, so the top moves for the date and then the bottom here unscrews here. And then you lift that up and there is the filter right there. Now this filter can be changed. You can buy this separately. I'll leave links in the description box below the video for these precise products. But this again is just the filter cartridge inside of the connection here and again it has a little thing there all the goodies of the filter right there and it just kind of slips right in again and then this just slips right on top and screws on in like that now what's going to happen is that this portion here is going to screw on to my shower head that uh, extends from the wall or I shouldn't say shower head but my pipe that extends from the wall and then my shower head will screw on to this portion here now something to keep in mind is you will need plumber's tape as well to seal in. So you want to put plumber's tape around this before you put your shower head on this. And the pipe that comes out of the wall that you screw in this, you want to put some plumber's tape around that as well. I'll show you that in just a second. But again, something to keep in mind, I was reading this. Now there is a model, I'll link that in the description box below as well. But it looks exactly like this. It has the filter and then the shower head already on the end of it. This one we were going to buy, but uh, we decided to go just for the actual filter portion because we do like our shower head. There's our shower head. We do like that one. So again, the overview of what we're going to do, I'm going to be screwing this off. I'm going to be screwing in the filter to the back here. Then I'm gonna be screwing this on. We wanna keep our little shower thing here. So I'm gonna screw all this onto the end of the filter. So let me go ahead and unscrew this one and then we'll show you how to get going. And real quickly guys, the reason why my wife and I have decided to go with the shower head filter is because our water is very, very hard and the chlorine in the water is just driving our skin crazy. Uh, my wife is experiencing and so am I, just some premature hair falling out and just our dry skin. So we really want to install this to go ahead and filter out that chlorine out of the water, which can be very, very damaging to your skin and hair. Now, the reason why I was completely sold on this model in particularly, especially the one with the shower head already adapted to it, is that it has fantastic reviews on Amazon.com. Again, you can read those reviews in the uh, description box below. Click on those links and you can read those reviews, but that's the main reason why we purchased this. Okay, so again, I'm gonna be screwing this completely off of my shower head, my shower pipe, I should say. So there we go. And again, I'm gonna be keeping this whole entire contraption here the way it is, and I'm just gonna be screwing this back on to our filter. So let's go ahead and put that out of the way for right now. And what we want to do is we want to get rid of all this plumber's tape on here, any of this old stuff. And we're going to go ahead and put brand new plumber's tape on this portion here. So let's get all this removed off of here. And we're going to go ahead and put some new plumber's tape on there. Okay guys, now with all our old tape off of there, we're going to go ahead and rip off, uh, that's about maybe mm, seven inches or so. And we're going to rip off that much. It's going to be a little bit hard to film with one hand and do it. So I'm going to go ahead and rip this off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the back. And I'm just going to go around it. Not too thick because you want to be able to screw it on really tight. The reason why we're doing this plumber's tape is because the water 
is going to be running through these grooves and we don't want it to leak out the back. So this just kind of seals it up real nicely here. So we'll put right on those threads and then we'll put on the filter. Okay, there we go. We have the brand new plumber's tape on there, beautifully put on. And it definitely helps guys when having dry hands, completely dry hands when working with this. And of course, when the pipe is completely dry, it just turns on really easily there. Okay guys, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this portion here and we're gonna screw this onto this here. And then what we're gonna do is then we're gonna re-plumber tape this end here and then put our shower head on the top there. So let's go ahead and screw this guy on in. Okay, nice and hand strength tighten, not overdoing it. Just nice and tight. Okay, making sure that if you have unscrewed this to look at the filter that this is completely secure so that the filter is not leaking out the back here. And we have our dial a date in there. We're putting this on currently month of March. So we need to replace that filter back in August. Now something to keep in mind guys after reading the reviews on Amazon, people are unscrewing just this portion and they're flipping the filter. Meaning all they're doing is if it's facing this way, they're taking it they're flipping it reverse and putting it back in so they're alternating be between this side going after one month they turn it around so the fresh filter is able to do what it needs to do for exactly six months and then ditching it and buying just the filter inside right here okay we got our plumbers tape on here now to put our shower head on okay guys we screw that in here we have that here again it is just the only thing, because this goes so far in, it actually doesn't hang very low at all. A lot better than I thought. Because again, the pipe goes in pretty deep down here. So to tell you the honest truth, we might have added maybe about an inch, inch and a half of length to the shower head. So not very much at all. So again, no worries about it. They realized the technology behind this, so they realized they wanted the pipe to go in more instead of just sticking straight in the back. So again, very nice design. Hope you guys liked the video. Please subscribe for a lot more videos of this. I do have other videos if you're running into the same problem of a leaky um, shower nozzle, if it's leaking behind, if the knob is leaking, or if the shower is leaking nonstop, I replace the stem in here. So look for those videos in my channel. Please subscribe, and again, look in the description box below for those links. You guys have a great night. Take care, bye-bye.